Did you know that 70% of our blood is situated within your veins and your heart pumps more than 7,000 liters of blood throughout your body in a single day. Yes. So that's the amount of hard work that your arteries and veins are doing and you may not even know about. So today, let me tell you some fascinating facts of the dynamic duo of our circulatory system, the arteries and veins. You may have heard them before, maybe in your school science class, but today I will share with you some very interesting facts in a very easy to understand manner. And do stay till the end because I will also tell you some good tips to make sure that your arteries and veins work perfectly fine for you. So first we must understand what exactly are arteries and veins. Our circulatory system which starts from the heart and delivers blood to all parts of our body is mainly made up of three important blood channels or blood vessels. They are the arteries, veins and capillaries. So arteries take care to deliver blood flow to all parts of our body from the heart. So they give oxygen and nutrients to all the body parts and all the deoxygenated blood with the waste products is then taken over by the veins and brought back to the heart and then to the lungs. So your circulatory system moves around in a circle. And an amazing fact is that if we were to lay down the arteries, veins and capillaries all together in a single line, do you know how much length they would cover? Well, in an adult, end to end, they would cover around 100,000 kilometers. Yes, that is the amount of length of networks that we have within our body without realizing it. And capillaries, which are the smallest blood vessels, would account to almost 80% of this length. So now let's look at each one closely. Arteries are the powerhouse of our body circulation. The main role of arteries is to carry oxygen-rich blood from the heart to different parts of the body. And to do this, they have to cope up with the pumping of the heart, which is what we call as blood pressure. The pressure within your arteries is fairly high. So the arteries have to be equipped to handle that pressure. These arteries are muscular, and elastic. The arteries should be able to compensate to allow blood to pass through. So you will see pulsations in the artery and one of the common areas where you can feel your pulsation is at the wrist joint where you will be able to feel your radial artery pulsation and the another one is the neck where you can feel your carotid artery pulsation. That shows that the artery will pulsate and move with each heartbeat. So this is an illustration of the arterial system with the largest artery being the aorta, which may be as thick as almost two to three centimeters. Now talking of the veins, the veins do just the reverse of arteries. They carry the deoxygenated blood from all your body parts, bring it back to the heart. So the blood flow in the veins is very, very slow. Because the blood flow is slow, blood pressure is slow, the veins will be very thin walled and that is when they can be much more distensible. The veins, if you see, have a chance of being distensible or they can increase and reduce in size depending on the amount of blood they carry. Since veins don't have a higher pressure, they are dependent on movement and valves to help in taking the blood flow back to the heart. All the veins or most of the veins are equipped with unidirectional one-way valves which help carry the blood from that body part towards the heart. But the valves in the legs are very important because they have to work against gravity. And when they have to work against gravity, the role of calf muscle is very important. The calf muscle acts as a second heart or a peripheral heart or a pump to help push the blood from your legs towards the heart. So now let's come to the second part of this video is how veins and arteries can work together in sync. So the starting is when oxygen rich blood leaves the heart. The heart pushes blood through the aorta and in turn from the aorta to different arteries and different branches of arteries which will supply blood right from your brain down till the feet. The arteries continue to become smaller 
till they reach a size of what is called as arterioles and these arterioles are the smallest of arteries these arterioles further continue into a delicate network called as capillaries and capillaries is where the major exchange of oxygen and nutrients takes place the capillaries also help to pick up the deoxygenated blood along with the toxic metabolites and body waste and then from the capillaries it moves on to venules which are smaller veins and many venules together will form a vein and the vein network also is a very extensive one so the veins also collect together to form a circulation of venous circulation which is almost adjacent to the artery but all the veins will lead to larger veins the superior vena cava which drains the upper part of your body and the inferior vena cava which drains the lower part of your body and both of these superior and inferior vena cava will open up in the heart in the right side of the heart and they bring the deoxygenated blood now the heart will take this deoxygenated blood and send it to the lungs to get oxygenated and this is done via the pulmonary arteries so the pulmonary arteries are actually carrying deoxygenated blood so the pulmonary arteries are a little different from the rest of the body arteries and in the lungs once the blood is well oxygenated that comes back to the heart and then the heart the left side of the heart will again circulate back to the body so this goes on in a constant motion maybe 70 to 100 times every minute without you even realizing it the body is such a wonderful machine and a mechanism which you do not need to be aware of so now that you understand how these systems work the third part of this video is where you should know how to keep your arteries and veins healthy to learn much more in detail about circulation we already have a lot of videos related to food exercise and healthy tips that i have on my youtube channel do have a look at these two to take care of your circulation there are certain tips which are very essential it starts with healthy food it also involves a little bit of exercise as a routine because exercise is known to improve circulation like nothing else can third important step is to avoid bad habits which may be smoking tobacco alcohol or even the habit of inactivity inactivity and sitting also can lead to a lot of circulation issues and if you want to know much more detailed about how circulation can impact your body and which are the signs of blocked arteries or poor circulation do have a look at our rest of the youtube channel videos lot of detail videos do share it with your well wishers too